Hello, mind mappers. How are you doing today? My name is Amber, and this is a NextMind 2020 feature introduction tutorial. I will be introducing multiple ways of using a feature in NextMind. So for today, let's go over how to use relationship. FYI, I'm operating with the XMind 2020 desktop version on a Mac. Let's now open a new document. The button for the relationship feature is right on top. A relationship feature is a customized line that can be used to connect any two topics to show a special relationship between them. First, let's say if we are going to write a business plan. It's divided into writing and presenting. For the writing process, we are going to do some background research, make an outline, and then a draft. In the writing part, we want to note that the number graphs in the draft also need to be inserted to the presentation. So a way to do that is to freely link the two boxes and rewrite the relationship text with insert. And remember that you can do as many customization as you want. I'm turning the line here to color red to highlight. Next, I'm also listing the financial goal of my business plan. Not to mix with the original structure, I am listing it as a floating topic on site and connect to my main topic with relationship again. See, the relationship feature can make your graph more organized and interconnected. Relationship can do so much more than just connecting within the structure. Here, I am creating three random circles to replicate Sternberg's triangular theory of love, intimacy, passion, and commitment. The three circles can be easily connected by relationship lines. And then we can customize the line style by changing the ends and to make them more like regular lines supported the triangle. I've only covered a few examples that you can do with the relationship feature. So open XMind now and try it yourself to find out more. Thanks for watching today's video, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.